So in this video, I want to take a look at adding an additional 12K of RAM to the system. In previous videos, we looked at adding uh, these two Goodbout cards and a Memory Merchant card. We identified and replaced a bad chip on this card here. I want to add a card up here in the C000 to EFFF address space. It'll be another Memory Merchant card, identical to this card down here, except for the fact I've disabled the upper 4K RAM on the card, so it really only represents a 12K address space. And that final 4K of RAM at the top of the address space, I have nothing currently in this little 2K block. And then we have the uh, FDC Plus card, uh, the ROM on it enabled, and that ROM provides Altmon and some other uh, code here to do system booting and that kind of stuff at the top of memory. And in this case, we're going to use Altmon, uh, the test mode like we have in the previous uh, video, to test this address block here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the card configuration, or the system configuration. So here's the system is currently configured. Uh, it's very similar to what we've looked at before. We've got the processor card up front here, the front panel interface. We've got the first uh, GoodBot card, the second one, the one we repaired, the third card, and this has given me the first 16K of RAM here, the second 16K of RAM here, the third 16K here, in this case, we've added this fourth card in, and it's the one that's strapped to just give us 12K of RAM. We have the 88 SIOB card that we modified to do uh, EIA level RS-232. And finally, the FDC Plus card here on the back. And in this case, I've re-enabled the PROM, and it's strapped to start at address uh, F800. So with all of that, let's go ahead and fire up TerraTerm here. And let me turn the machine on. And I need to set the start address to FF80. And reset the machine, examine that address, and run. And we should have got the Altmon prompt, and we did. So that's a really good sign. Uh, let me jump back here to my notes. And let's just go ahead and jump right in and test that block of memory. So T for test, 0000, zero, zero, zero to EFFF. And we're getting successful test passes. So that's a really good sign. So th this indicates that fourth card is there. It's active on the bus. Escape out here. Uh, if I test F000 to F7FF, I expect this to fail because there's no RAM in the machine in that block. And that's exactly what we see. It's just easier here if I reset and start again. Stop, reset, examine, run, get back to Altmon. As often happens, TerraTerm is messed up. I don't know why that happens. So really what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to do a test from 0000 to EFFF. And that's testing the entire 40 or 56K actually 62k address space we've got 62k of continuous ram here the empty space in the rom up at the top and i'm just going to let this just run the memory test over this block for an hour or two here just to kind of do a burn-in test remember that each time a period comes up it says it's completed one full pass of memory testing through the, the space so we've already completed three full passes so really, I guess this will be a super short video. Uh, in the next video, we'll look at reconfiguring CPM uh, from a build a CPM that uh, occupied 48K to how we extend it up to the 60K or 62K. No, 60K. Gee, I keep doing that. Uh, 48 plus 12 is 60, so that's the 60K uh, boundary there. So I'll wrap this up here, and we'll see you in the next video.